Do you wish you could take your stakeholders analysis from Google Sheets into Snowflake? Well, in this video, we'll show you how to do that in just under five minutes. Let's dive in. So diving in the shipyard here, we want to start with our Google Sheet blueprint uh, to take the data from Google Sheets and store it as a CSV. Uh, so we're going to download the sheet to CSV here. Uh, we're going to click that. We're going to use our credential management system here to get my uh, Google JSON in there. Uh, so the spreadsheet name, we're going to do this raw customers right there. Uh, so you can see this is a table that we're going to pull in. So just this like basic uh, customer uh, example data table here. Um, we don't care about the tab name, shared drive. We don't care about, we're going to name this test.csv, uh, local folder name, cell range. So we'll keep those blank. And there's that, uh, credential that we added in using credential management. Um, so we're going to, so that, so there's that vessel. So now we need to upload this into Snowflake. Uh, so search Snowflake, uh, upload CSV to table, uh, click that. Uh, we can pull it up here, connect them together. Uh, so we're going to use our Snowflake credentials that we have, which is going to put our username, password, and account name in. Um, so now our warehouse is test warehouse, database, the demo DB, um, the schema. So we're going to do our Snowflake video schema. Uh, we don't, we're not using a folder here. Uh, the file name is test.csv, the table name. Uh, we're going to do data from Google Sheets. Or I'm sorry, we're going to do Google Sheets data. There we go. Or Google Sheets demo. There we go. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to replace the data that's in there. Since this is just a demo data, we're going to replace that table. You could append as well. Uh, and we're, we're not going to do it. We're not going to set our schemas this time. Um, so last thing we want to do is name our tables. So we're going to do Google Sheets to Snowflake. There we go. So we can click Save and Finish. Uh, so this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here, and then we can click Run Your Fleet. Um, so when we click Run Your Fleet, it's going to take us over into the fleet log page, as you can see here. Um, so inside of Shipyard, we call this an on-demand run. Um, so you can kick off an on-demand run anytime that you're working with a fleet, any, at any of your fleet pages, whether it's the logs, the fleet builder, triggers, or version control, by clicking the green Run Now button up here on the top right-hand corner of the page. Uh, on top of that, you, we can, we also have our triggers page here, uh, which is where you can schedule uh, schedule this to run. So you can schedule it, uh, you know, based on uh, hours, days, weeks, months. Uh, and then we also have a webhook trigger as well, where you can kick this thing off programmatically. Um, so you can do some event-based uh, fleet runs as well. Uh, and then we also have webhook parameters where you can send in uh, you can send in some of the variables using the webhook and actually put them inside of your uh, fleet so that you could potentially you know, make it come from a different Google Sheets or, you know, name it, take it to a different Snowflake table, things like that you could do with our webhook parameters. Um, and then we also have version control where every time we click on the save button on the bottom right hand corner of our screen, um, that's going to take us, uh, it's going to create a new version that you can, uh, you can revert back versions, you can create new fleets from old versions. Um, so inside of Shipyard, we make it very easy for you to experiment. Um, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything when you're experimenting because you can always revert back or create a new fleet from that old version. Okay, so you can see that our first vessel is already kicked off and finished here. So we've downloaded our sheet from Google Sheets and saved it as a CSV. So we can click inside of this um, and we can show the values that we set here. So there's our Google Sheet, uh, there's our Google Sheet ID. Uh, there's the file name that we wanted to store it as. And you can see that all credentials inside of Shipyard are stored as XXX there. Um, so they're never going to be visible from the actual user interface. Excuse me. So even if you and if you're using our credential management system, you don't even have to type them in in the input page. So it, we allow your credentials to be saved uh, without ever actually being viewed inside of the um, inside of the user interface whenever you're creating a vessel. Um, so if I jump back into the logs, uh, we'll wait just a moment for the second vessel to kick off. Um, and so whenever it kicks off, that's going to be taking the data from Google, uh, from Snowflake, um, or I'm sorry, from Google Sheets, and then uploading it into a table inside of Snowflake. Okay, so you can see our, our second vessel is kicked off here. Uh, the Snowflake vessel is uploading the CSV to our table. Um, so it's currently running. You can see it's that yellowish orange color telling us that it's currently running. Uh, so in just a moment, that'll switch over to being green. Uh, once it's uploaded that table into Snowflake, um, and that'll let us know that the table is now in Snowflake. And then we can jump over into Snowflake um, and take a look at that table um, as soon as as soon as it's finished running, which it just does. So now we can jump over into Snowflake here. Uh, we can see our Google Sheets demo here, which is the table that we uploaded the data to. Um, I can preview that data. Um, and you can see there's that there's that there's the values that we saw in our Google Sheets earlier. Uh, so in this video, we discussed how we can take data from a Google Sheet and upload it into Snowflake. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.